Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI. And this is a 60-year-old female with shoulder pain. And this is a coronal T1 sequence. We can see the supraspinatus muscle here coming horizontally across. And the, her problem is right here at the supraspinatus tendon insertion. We see the supraspinatus tendon is expanded, kind of bizarre looking. And we see these arcs of low signal within it. And this is a classic example of calcific tendonitis. Really shows up better on this. This is a coronal PD fat side image. And now we can see these calcific deposits are kind of amorphic, curvilinear bands. And over the top, we see this brightness. This is inflammation of the subacromial subdeltoid bursa. And so this is more of a, a later phase, a reactive phase, where the body is trying to repair this. And so calcific tendonitis is a disease where uh, I guess it's not very well understood. Some people think it's from repetitive microtrauma, and that may lead to low oxygen tension within the supraspinatus. And when that happens, they get this deposition of calcific hydroxyapatite within the supraspinatus tendon. And in the early phases, apparently it's just very, very subtle. It's within the substance, and people are asymptomatic, so we don't even image it. But later, the body can form um, an inflammatory response and try to resorb it. And macrophages go in there and grab the calcium. And the, the uh, supraspinatus tendon will become expanded with the inflammatory mediators. And the calcium will bunch together like this and cause these arcs. And you get this bright inflammation of the bursa. And I think they, they say the calcium may even squirt out into the bursa. Or that maybe the whole rotator cuff is expanded and bulges out into the bursa. It's hard to tell because it looks so bizarre. But at any rate, this is the inflammatory uh, phase where the body is trying to heal itself and this is the phase where they're symptomatic and come in to get imaged and apparently over time they do very well and the body can just heal itself up I've had a friend who had this and it looked terrible but over time it just went away all on its own so it can heal itself and the calcification of the inflammatory meteors all this stuff combined is typically like or it can be like toothpaste kind of a soft material Sometimes it can become over time more hard and chalky or even become calcified apparently. So based on or depending on the, uh, the consistency, uh, if it doesn't heal, they can go and do surgery and they may be able to suck it out with a syringe if it's really chalky or if it's, uh, I'm sorry, if it's really like toothpaste. But if it's hard, chalky or calcification, then they uh, can't get it out very easily. And so in rare cases, apparently, they may have to go in to do surgery to remove it. But again, most of the time, it looks really crazy, and they just heal themselves up. But uh, that is calcific tendonitis, and thank you very much.